Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 52 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric fields. This is a follow-up problem for example 11. So we can see there, we have a uniform charged wire, right? The length is given 6.5. And also, it is located from the y minimum to y max. This two is given. And the charge, total charge Q is also given. We need to, we can get the charge density. Use the total charge divided by wire length and get the answer there. The first one asks you to calculate the EX and EY at a position P. So now this part we can consider a small fraction on the wire called dy, okay? How much charge it carries? Lambda times dy. Lambda is the charge density times the friction length dy. And also the distance from the friction to the position P is called the, the length is x squared plus y squared, right? So this, uh, this part, this uh, length squared equal to x squared plus y squared. Therefore, we can write the electric magnetic field, field, magnetic field for this uh, small fraction, dE, as 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught constant, right? Times is the charge lambda dy divided by distance squared. Look at this one. The next part we can see we consider this charge is a positive charge, and so the electric field radically outward. We can project it in the x component and the y component, right? For x component, it is times cosine theta. For y component, times sine theta. And we can also find the sine theta and the cosine theta in this uh, triangle. Agree? So sine theta use a y over this uh, side length. Cosine theta is x over this uh, side length. We write it there. And then we can input the dE and the sine theta or cosine theta in dEx, dEy. So this one, we get these uh, two equations. And then it can be simplified as these two terms. There, we need to pay attention to this negative sign. You can see when we do the projected in X component and Y component for DE, for the D, Y, for DE, Y is pointing downward, right? So we add a negative sign there. The next part, we need to do the integral for the Y from the Y minimum to y max, and then you can solve it. These two functions can be get at there. Input all the known quantity inside, you can get ex and ey. So part A is done. For part B, we need to determine what arrow would be if you just use the, the result from the example 11. So what is example? from the EX, EY with this one. So we can see EX, EY we just get from previous solutions. And then for this E, you can see you copy it down for example 11 and input the known quantities. The answer is there. Now we can look at this arrow from EX to E. See, it is super small. It is around 0.3% difference, right? And look at the EY with the E, it is just 2%. So we can say this is a very small error. You can ignore it. So in the next time when you solve this kind of problems, you can directly consider this equation. Thank you.